Hey, hello, how are you? So the last time I was able to have the uh, CPU load on the map rendering of of a rather simple um, platformer of macro quad, right? So it was running on 16% of my CPU and I halved it to nine. But this is all fine and good. But, but this map is actually quite small and uh, my optimization was uh, well I was cheering for it but it's not enough because most of the games like uh, Blasphemous and uh, Mario have maps that span along X axis quite a lot so does my map which I copied from Mario and uh, edited in tiled renderer uh, editor it spans a lot to the right right so with my previous uh, thing that I showed on uh, on, the, on the last uh, session I only had one layer but this this has three layers and uh, every layer was one mesh, right? So it took quite a while for me to realize that <clears throat> with with my um, with my mesh uh, approach, even with with that improvement, I was getting huge frame drops not frame drops, CPU loads. So here I'm rendering uh, batches of uh, meshes. So every line over here, every, every rectangle represents a separate mesh that I'm rendering. And for now it seems kinda all right. But let's look at the load. The load is 85%. And let me close that because it starts to work like a vacuum cleaner. All right. <clears throat> so without the check for bounding box of every mesh, it's like heavily impacting my computer. And with some optimizations, when I'm actually checking for those rectangles, if, if, if my camera... Uh, contains, uh, like the camera view contains some of the uh, meshes and well it only renders what it needs so immediately from 80% to 80 uh, to 27% uh, is quite an improvement and if I don't render the debug lines it's even faster because yeah, less, less stuff to render. All right, let's see. <sighs> Let it speed up slightly. Yeah, back to nine. We're back to nine percent when we draw only stuff that we need. See, but there's a problem. You probably notice there's an issue over here. Uh, for some reason, MacroQuad apparently made a mistake where it doesn't provide me the correct um, amount of tiles for the rectangle I desire. So those debug lines that I showed, they represented a square of tile set a square in here of a tile set that I have interest in to create a mesh and the tiles of the desired rectangle apparently don't return the last element over there this is why I get empty tiles all over the map <coughs> and I'm not sure how to battle it but it does seem that uh, 
cannot carry on with animation stuff that I was planning on. As you can see here, uh, uh, I did envision some of the tile tiles to be animated, and I do have working functionality of that uh, made with Phaser JS. But with all the limitations that I am getting over here, right? I'm I'm getting uh, skipped uh, tiles. I'm not sure how to proceed. I mean. I am rendering all the meshes, uh, all the layers now, all the three layers now. Uh, if if we check, right? So all the uh, vegetation uh, stuff and the bottom layer, right? I am rendering all of that now <coughs> with the same nine percent, which is way faster than the original macro quads um, speed but I am getting these empty tiles so this makes me believe that I am ditching macro quad for good also for the reason that uh, I spent like several hours figuring out why my t uh, tile set is not loading into macro quad engine and with the uh, help of, um, like, I, I had to literally go into into code of a macro quad to reveal that custom properties of uh, tiles shouldn't be anything else than strings. So I previously envisioned my uh, custom properties as different kinds of um, objects, uh, either uh, numbers or floats or whatever, they support only strings. So I spent two hours figuring out why the, why the application was crashing and I envision even more problems down the line, which is not what I am willing to take. So yeah, grouping matters to render stuff quickly. Oh, let's see. Uh, so in uh, debug mode, it runs at 10%. I'm still happy I was able to accomplish quite a while, uh, quite a lot. And then now let's run it in release mode. Is, even though I'm ditching uh, macro quad, I had a lot of great experience uh, figuring out ways to optimize rendering. Again, I am rendering three layers now at 7%, now 6%. Right. I've got different layers, um, rendering. Uh, I can go behind some of the uh, of the tiles. Cool, and I'm running at five percent, six percent even. Three layers, but it's all freaking broken. I'm not sure what's going on. <clears throat> so this is a separate layer. I literally call it a instant death layer, which I would collide and uh, my character would die, which again is what I had in Phaser JS. But yeah, this experiment experiment was nice, and uh, I'm actually getting a lot less CPU load than, than I initially envisioned. So yeah, uh, too many too many problems with the core tile parsing even and I'm quite scared to carry on with this engine so I hope I didn't bore you too much but overall my skills of rust have increased I am 
generating quite a lot of useful grouping code. Um, I'm getting speed. I'm getting power. Cheers. <laughs>